Uh, I think it's progressing really well. So uh, he'll resume practice today, and um, you know we're easing back. But uh, we gave everybody Sunday, Monday off, and uh, kind of get to as we said after the game on Saturday, get away from it for a couple days, uh, kind of reboot. And uh, his treatments have gone very well. He's healing very, very well. So uh, we'll ease him back in today, and then we'll have a practice tomorrow. But uh, we fully anticipate him going on Thursday. Well, that's why we wanted to give him two days off um, because I think they've done a great job through the end of this season. Uh, obviously, all of February, first week of March, uh, finished up league play as well as they could finish. And so now it's about getting away from it. Let's watch everybody else play for a couple of days, get away from basketball altogether if you want. And now when we meet on 3 o'clock on Tuesday, you know, we're ready to go. We got the next, our next bracket, you know, and our next bracket has Washington and SC in it. And uh, and then we're on that bracket with three other teams if we're fortunate to move on. And then hopefully you get in the championship bracket. So, um, you know, I think, the, I think the guys have been really good all year about getting on to the next game. And hopefully these two days off have kind of refreshed their minds. But uh, being sharp this time of year, when you know you're in two different tournaments, uh, it is something that you're always concerned about. Yeah, um, whatever they've had during the season, uh, now they just take with them to the conference tournament. So we've played everybody but four teams twice. Um, these two teams, um, SC we played about, what, three weeks ago, maybe three and a half weeks ago. Washington just last week. So. Uh, whether Fultz is in the mix or not, we don't know yet. We play him, played him once with Fultz, one without. And obviously we know SC very well. So uh, we're pretty good going into this one. Um, you know, then, you know, if we're fortunate enough to advance, you know, we could play one of three other teams. But um, uh, it is about just it, – it's not so much about what the other team is doing as much as is what you're doing because the, the prep is so quick. Like, we're not going to know who we're playing until about 10.30 on Wednesday night. So it's about the time our guys are getting down. It's about the time we're going to find out who we're playing. Would you watch that game I won't be in person, but I'll be watching it uh, at the hotel. We will have three of our coaches there. No, it's a it, it's definitely a tough route, and um, you know it's just the way it happens. But um, you know we have played in that arena, so we're familiar with that arena. You don't get a lot of practice time. In fact, we don't get any uh, because our slot is in the morning, and um, we're obviously not going to make it uh, there by then. And then our next slot's at nine thirty game day, and we're not going to get our guys up at eight thirty to go for a twenty twenty five minute shoot when we don't play until eight thirty Thursday night. So. Uh, we'll just get that normal 27-minute warm-up, but uh, you know, we'll just talk to the guys about what we've got to do, and it's about being who we are. You know, We're taking care of the ball. We're making, taking good shots. That's always going to be crucial offensively. Then defensively, just knowing our assignments and finishing them with good active hands, getting rebounds, and going. So the guys know what's ahead of them regardless of who we got to play. Um, and we've done a really good job of you know beating everybody on our schedule and doing the things game to game that you have to do to be a – a really good basketball team. But we're like everybody else in this tournament, everybody else across the country in conference tournaments, you got to play good basketball to advance. If if we play good basketball, then I like our chances of advancing. If we don't play good basketball, then there's enough good teams that we're going to be playing here in the conference tournament that um, we won't be there very long. I think you might be the only team that's mobile. How much does that improve the comfort level? Does that play a factor not going to go slots that you well, we wouldn't – even if we hadn't played, we'd probably not taking those times because we only get 25 minutes and they're just too early. Um, you're playing an 8.30 game. Um, to get to the arena that quick, that early, makes for a really long day for our guys. So, uh, it's – I don't think that would even matter if we played. But it is comforting to know that we've been in there. We've played in that environment. We've played in that arena. Um, and so, our guys are at least going to be familiar. It's been a long time. It was December. But we've at least been in there. I don't know if this was already asked, but what kind of difference do you see with the guys coming off two days of rest in practice today? You know, well, we don't know. Like so they would be pra we haven't oh, practice yet. Yeah, because right. we gave them Sunday and Monday off.
Sarah, you talked about how you guys are finding the best basketball. Is there anything that you want to see them do better? Just continue that defensive? Yeah, just continue to, uh, you mentioned it, being sharp, but just that focus of now you're out of, you know, we've been in league play for two and a half months. So really since right at Christmas, we've been in league play. So that's been an 18-game deal. And now all of a sudden, now you get into where you're not going to play everybody in the league. But you, as we've told our guys, you're guaranteed one game with the chance to play three. The next tournament, you're guaranteed one game with the chance to play six. So uh, they're a little bit different now. As you, We always talk about seasons. Season one being non-conference, season two being conference, season three being the conference tournament, and season four being the NCAA tournament. So the words different in season three and four, you have to, for, for those seasons to continue, you got to win. Uh, in league play and non-league play, there's always another game uh, that you get to play. And now, if you lose, you go home. So it's a win in advance type of thing. Um, and we'll talk about that to the guys. And obviously, they know that. But, uh, you know, we've had success in this tournament. And, um, you know, hopefully we'll go play well again this year. Well, I'm always excited this time of year. I, this is uh, growing up in it and playing it first, and now coaching it for 26 years. You get to you get to that second week in March. It's just a blast. It's fun. It's uh, you know, there's a lot of hoopla to it, uh, both from fan standpoint. The players take on new energy because uh, you've just come out of the grind of a conference season that's lasted two and a half months and played teams most of them twice. Um, and this it's just it's it's a way of refreshing and coaches I think feel the same way and but I am excited about this team you know because uh, I think I've got a very good team I've got high character guys and it's fun going into postseason with a group of guys that I get to coach. Any update on TJ? He'll practice today so yeah so really he's moving forward very well so uh, like everybody else he got two days off and um, Obviously, a lot of treatments, but he's progressed extremely well. So, uh, our full intent is to have him on Thursday night. Is there any benefit you might draw from having TJ out in terms of Gigi getting more minutes the past few games? Well, we've had that in uh, TJ wasn't out, but in November and December, right. we were without Tom, we were without EK, we were without Gigi for a stretch. And I think when those guys were out, it helped the other guys because they got more minutes. And Gigi got a lot of minutes in the last two games. So, uh, only time will tell, but we hope that that's helped him and given him some confidence on what he could do because I thought he had some really good minutes in both of those games. Did you see growth from him in those games? Yeah, because I thought he was aggressive. You know, he might have missed a player here or there, but he's always been a very sound, very position-oriented defensive player, very active, which has really helped us. Uh, but I thought his offensive game, he was much more aggressive on the backboard. He was aggressive driving the ball, which I think he's really good. And he missed a couple of shots inside. But I thought his moves were really good. So hopefully his timing and everything else will continue to improve. But the minutes he got, I thought he played really well. Yeah.